From the very beginning, we need to use the Volpen tool to import the walls and also the layouts. You can use the JPEG and PDF and PNG. Actually, they are all pictures and CAD file for some very uh, professional artworks and you can directly use them but of course you can manually use the tool here I can show you the demo uh, as PDF and you can see actually it's a kind of uh, basic drawing okay let me show you yeah in this demo you need to have at least one ruler showing the very precise and a certain length or width to tell the system how is the exact length how it lasts long for the ratios so just waiting for import put the ruler to the position and drag and you can just put in with the precise position as precise as possible and type in the exact length and of course don't forget to change to check if you have the correct uh, uh, units like millimeters and uh, fraction industries and auto gen auto generate but of course if you want you can manually to do so let's select the auto and just waiting for the Generating. Okay, almost finished. You see, you can check in two D. Click the two D, and then check about the basic layout and also the opacity in order to check accordingly. You need a picture as the base draft and also don't forget here actually we can not only change the transparent but also unbreak for example i just want the border so i just enhance the uh, opacity with the walls but also i can still see the base map content okay and also don't forget to check about the names if it is correct or not for the different area but also just pay attention we only calculate the sealed up entire area yeah for example this area living room is not so precise because we have entrance and go along with that and also you click for the walls you can see we have the certain uh, index of the width and the depth you can directly type in okay click the wall and then type in number to check and also don't forget when you do the changing always from one side to another and also if you find that uh, some of the walls for example even here if it's too thick okay you can still click the wall and then to change the thickness and also if you want to uh, hide away or delete the map, base map is also available if you uh, already finish every modification of the side of the walls okay and again let's take another looking at for example a uh, picture yeah. for normal picture uh, actually is quite similar to import in the pdf you still need to put your ruler into precise area change the size Typing exact numbers. Okay, two to fifty. Confirm. And then just waiting for the generation. Yeah, there will be some certain error if it's uh, not so precise from the drop. Then you can click to delete. Deleting the side of the wall is easy just click the dustbin and also don't forget to seal up the walls okay for example you can see here if you don't seal up the area it will definitely left wall itself there's no floors no ceiling at all you can definitely drag drag to seal the area 
for example for this terrace just click and drag okay so just pay attention about that you can see there's no ceiling no floors only walls but if you drag them just put them together now you have them okay so just that's about the difference and also after finished one of the ceiling ceiling up the walls from the forming the room you definitely need to give the name for example give the name as terrace just select okay to click the floors and then you can have it and then you can also check about the area for example the walls how is it goes if it is correct with the distance and the thickness as well and also when you do the batch selection you can also change for example uh, on the right side customize seeing the height now is customized and also go with the exterior walls and then you can form out a kind of a barrier okay, like the railings or on the balcony you can see here we actually finished that okay and here continually to check about all the detail for example the rooms if it's suitable and also just pay attention try to avoid some of the rooms living like the customized change into the exact names okay and also you see the room type room name for room name you can just uh, free to uh, yeah, free to type in but room type you need to select and just try to get all these names settled with your preference and here the room name will definitely be shown in the render final render result and here if you can see we actually have a very big area so if you want to divide them use walls for example here for the folding doors you definitely need one of the side doors so you need to draw them out for example turn to floor plan and use the straight wall just click actually this one click and move yeah you can have typically to control the thickness and also it's auto snapped if not so you can use the orthogonal to enable it will change within 90 degree and also change with the center line or inner line it will spawn out the reserve different the final result you see that will be different in the position okay after finish that click and continually drawing after finish click the right mouse button and now once you have the uh, proper area you can continually to do the modification and here we also have columns and beams and some other uh, construction component what you need to do is just put and click and even at this moment if you don't have the, any certain uh, detail data you can directly click and drag you see just click and drag put in the right position and also for example beams you can draw accordingly also activate the orthogonal and now let's take another look at the CAD file so click import the CAD file and here this is the demo the before demo try to simplify the import file for example only left the doors and windows and the walls as well so even this time you can leave the gap like that it's also available for the system to analyze out but just pay attention about the results sometimes it's just door opening it's not doors but still it's available and also some of those components that attached to the wall 
you need to pay attention to try to simplify them and only left the main uh, furnitures okay so just click import so now select the demo and here just waiting for the uploading again for the head file actually in our system we don't need to change quite a lot because one millimeter equals one millimeter in our system so actually you just need to stay with the correct uh, import units then it's fine and later we will uh, try to directly put all these elements okay into the design case yeah so just import and click that confirm okay you can just import it with the entire um the, the layout and also check about the unit okay so click confirm of course you can manually to do that in manually drawing it will be much easier even you don't even for the drawing you don't need to pay attention about the thickness the system will help to uh, automatically to uh, continually check and now you see we finished import first of course to check if there's any uh, wall missing or parts incorrect and also check about the name of the rooms if it is suitable click 3d and to do do the modification of the names and also if you want to delete the room it's easy just click and now it's gone okay let me show you now i can manually to do the drawing yeah for the base map actually it always stay with the exact position and the exact border so what you need to do is just to use the file and directly to put for example floor plan and then to three wall click and of course you can enable the orthogonal or this other unlabeled it and then when you click drawing you see now it's auto uh, snap it's auto snapped to the boundary and also the gap you just need to continually to click you can move your mouse and click your left mouse button and now it's formed even for the corner it shows exactly the same so once you click for example finish at the end point once you click it's attached and of course you can use your right mouse button to change the way of viewing and also here if the position is incorrect or the thickness is incorrect just drag into put so you can have this uh, really precise position and then put all those elements like the doors and windows and even for the boundary just need to click and drag you don't need to change it a lot and also here entrance door just click the door for example single okay and click and drag to the side the exact size and then you can use the flip to change okay don't forget here we have the different names just check about the name if it is correct and here you have the door opening so you can check about doors opening doors to directly pull okay to directly put in okay and also check about the window front window click drag it's really easy yeah, you can also check about the status you can change and also above the ground for example if you want you can turn to 3d to check above ground turn to 100 and then around 2.3 meter okay even if you dislike this kind of a window click you can replace it click replace yeah you have different uh, materials but also if you want to get a really quick way you can delete manually to select from the public library construction uh, windows and then put the uh, floor to ceiling yeah choose your preference and click to put now, if it is too big no worry just try to put in even some in some other uh, surface it's also available then duplicate to it Background settled. 
The thing is, of course, you can independently change. It won't affect the thickness of the walls. Let's tap in. Okay. And also, you can see actually we already finished the side of the wall thing. And now, for the internal uh, door opening, if you want, you can change to normal doors. Just click and put. But here, since it's duplicate, you need to delete them beforehand. Click. Delete. Okay. Check about the size. And then change the open direction. Flip. Okay, delete later. Click. Duplicate. Duplicate. Now remember, flip to proper dimension. And as you see here, some walls is a string. It's dividing the uh, window sill. So what you need to do here, remember to automatically break. Okay, break the brace of the walls because if you don't break that, you will have a very strange result when you delete the entire surface. You see now, it's a kind of a leaking for the area and now you see it's kind of a gap so try to break if there's any continual break point on the wall so just break them before you delete the phrase of the walls okay, even for the window sill here you don't have to do all those manually things because in our system we already have them for example called the uh the bay the the the, the Bay window sill and here should be L shape. Click and put. What you need to do is drag those controlling points to auto snap the boundary. And now turn to 3D to check. You already have them. And then if you want to try to control the uh, window, okay, above the floor, and also you can see there are quite a lot of index on the right side to control all the status of the uh, the bay windows and the windowsill. Okay, it will be kind of easy to do that. And also check in 2D. And here you can have different uh, ways, for example, top view and the walk. So you can have the views to check and also here we have some more, for example, for linear, it's quite easy. Just click and put. Even this moment, you don't have to change down on the side. It's auto snap, the auto full field. 